Hey guys, welcome back. So if you are new here, my name is Pam or Pamela to some and on this channel I provide fragrance recommendations and reviews as well as tips to help you curate and care for your perfume collection. Now today I'm going to be sharing some of my most complimented designer perfumes. I love wearing these fragrances and you'll notice I've repeatedly featured them on previous videos as well as my reels on socials like Instagram and TikTok. So if you are interested to see my most complimented designer perfumes, let us just go ahead and get started. The first perfume we're going to talk about is Tom Ford's Noir Parfum. I haven't really been wearing this a lot, but I noticed that every time I did pick it up to wear, I was getting tons of compliments. This is definitely one of my favorite special occasion fragrances, even though I said there's no occasion to wear perfumes. This has a little coffee in there. It's a little spicy with the ginger and the bitter orange, and it has some mastic in it. One of my favorite fragrances in my collection that I get tons of compliments on. Next up is a perfume I don't hear many people talking about in the fragrance community. Dior Attic is the perfume I get a lot of compliments on. Now this smells very similar to Guerlain's Angelique Noir. And if you like Angelique Noir, I think you will love Dior Attic. Dior Attic has been reformulated twice. Originally it came out in 2002 and then it was reformulated I believe it's 2012 and again in 2014. I have the 2014 version. Now this has a delicious opening of orange leaf and it has a huge dose of sexy jasmine with a creamy vanilla base. The same sort of vanilla that you smell in Angelique Noir by Galan. This one has it. I get tons of compliments when I wear it and I absolutely love it. So this is Dior at it. Dior may have the market on compliment getters because Hypnotic Poison gets me compliments as well. I really enjoy this perfume because it has a very edgy girl vibe, yet it still has a demure, mommy, you know, suburban vibe as well. It has beautiful fruity opening with apricot plum and coconut, and then it's got some spices and florals in the middle, including um, tuberose and rose. I really like this also because I do smell the almond that's in the base. I do smell it on my skin for as long as I wear it. So this is Hypnotic Poison by Dior. A top dog compliment getter is Maison Lancôme's Oud Bouquet. Guys, this is such a good fragrance. The rose in here is nice and sugary, but it's dense and thick. And the oud in here just blends well with it. This is definitely one of Lancôme's best creations, in my opinion anyways. Every time I wear it, I get compliments. It lasts very long on my skin. It lasts even longer on my clothes. If you want a compliment getter, if you want a fragrance that's going to bring you compliments, wear Oud Bouquet. The next compliment getter is Burberry Her, and I'm telling you this fragrance, I was surprised that I got so many compliments as I did because to my nose it smelled very basic, but the fruity, vanillic vibes in this fragrance is what I think people really are attracted to. It has strawberries and blackcurrant and sour cherries, and then it's got some citrus, you know, sharpness to it, but I get tons of compliments when I wear it. So this is Burberry Her, and it's a top compliment getter in my designer perfume collection. This is my favorite favorite musk perfume in my collection Narciso Rodriguez's Poudre did I say that correct I think I did anyways guys if you've never tried any other Narciso Rodriguez perfumes and you like musk you really need to give this powdery fragrance a try I like it so very much well I can't say I like it very much I love it very much it's one of the fragrances in my collection that I find myself always reaching for when I'm wanting something powdery and comforting Narciso Poudre does that for me I really enjoy wearing this fragrance I really highly recommend it if you're a musk lover because it's not overly heavy and stinky and barnyard. It's gorgeous on the skin and it's a gorgeous powdery fragrance as well. So this is Narciso Rodriguez's Poudre. Another designer brand in my collection that I didn't think I would have because I don't like the original is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. These are the three flankers I currently have and they are my favorites. And all three of them get me compliments, but the next two I'm going to talk about are the ones that get me compliments all the time. Good Girl Supreme was the first fragrance I purchased from Carolina Herrera that I fell in love with, love it for a sniff. Really love this perfume and other people love it on me too because I get compliments over and over every single 
time I wear it, whether I layer it or not. I do like the bottle. Yes, it's gaudy to some, but I actually like the bottle. I find that it's very sparkly a little bit on my skin, but it has more of a cocoa, deep, resinous, you know, sexy vibe. Really enjoy wearing this, and I love getting compliments when I wear it as well. The other good girl is the Legere. Now, this one, people have followed me around stores, literally, to tell me how good I smell. Sales associate have crowded around me and said, hey, you know, you walk by and I smelled your perfume. You smell really good. And when I tell them what it is, they're in shock. So good girl Legere is another good girl that gets me tons of compliments. You may have noticed my voice is going in and out and it's because I'm battling some sort of virus. So I can't apologize for being sick, but I can apologize for sounding sort of croaky to you. Okay. Now, please consider hitting the like button if you're getting any value in today's video and consider going over to my channel after you watch this video and check out some of the videos that I have up there. I have tons of videos on my channel. Some of them, the production value might not be as great as, you know, you may have been accustomed to, but you know, they're all videos that provide value, in my opinion, to the fragrance community. And I think you'll find value in them as well. Consider subscribing if you like them. So let's get back to today's video of my most complimented designer fragrances. Next up on my list of complimented fragrances is Alien by Thierry Mugler. This is a very interesting perfume. I absolutely really love it. I think my bottle is an older bottle. This perfume was created in 2005 and I bought this like, I think it was like 2012. Can't remember. Bottom line is, I love this. It has jasmine sandback, cashmere, and amber. It smells very different from other amber fragrances in my collection. Every time I wear it, I get asked, what am I wearing? I really like that. And so this is Alien by Thierry Mugler. You're probably tired of hearing me talk about these, but Mongolan fragrances, oh my gosh, these are by Guerlain and they give me much or get me much compliments okay these fragrances are not for everybody but they are for me and that's all right by me <laughs> as well as other people because i get compliments now this one is the original mongolon i just opened up this bottle a few weeks ago because i finished up my last mongolon um or the parfum this one is a lavender they're all lavender perfumes but this one is the original one the lavender is what puts people off but i find that people get me compliments when i wear this fragrance and it has great longevity and sillage so I know that if it's comforting for me it's probably comforting for other people and that's why I get the compliments so this is Mongolon by Guerlain the next designer perfume that gets me a lot of compliments is Jimmy Choo's I Want You Forever I did like the original one but I didn't buy that one I had like I think a sample this one I absolutely love I have this and I gave my mom um, a small 10 mil to see if she likes it as well. This is a beautiful florally jasmine-y type of fragrance, but the cherry in here is what is speaking to me. It's understated. It's not overall, you know, too strong and get tons of compliments when I wear it. Here's another lavender fragrance. I get a lot of compliments on. I think lavender must be a fragrance that people just like on me, but this is a YSL Leave the Intense. Really enjoy wearing this fragrance. It's one of the fragrances that I am so glad I have in my collection I always question whether I need to wear it or not because it can be a little overpowering at times but I found that the more I wore it is the more I loved it the more I enjoy smelling it sniffing my own self so maybe I'm complimenting myself I don't know <laughs> But others give me compliments too every time I wear it people say that I smell very nice very pretty and I haven't gotten too much of a you smell sexy, but I find that it is a sexy fragrance. Perhaps it is the tonka bean that's in the base, but the doses of lavender in here is very comforting to my nose and perhaps comforting to others as well. That's why it's one of my most complimented perfumes in my collection. Another set of perfumes that you're probably tired of me talking about is Learn to Bet. These guys are absolutely gorgeous, especially these are the two that I own and every time I wear them, I get compliment. Now the first is Learn to Bet Rouge. This is the sexy version. This is really sweet and sexy and it's actually a fragrance that I would consider a date night type of fragrance, whether it's a second, third, not the first date, but second and third date you want to wear this for the first date you want compliments wear the original now this is a very classy perfume it comes across a little bit dated to some people but to me I think it's a good blend between you know past and present and it gets me tons of compliments when I wear this it should be no surprise that this perfume 
made the list. Dolce & Gabbana's Devotion. Wowzer. This fragrance is one of the best releases, in my opinion, in my petty opinion, <laughs> of 2023. This is such an easy vanilla fragrance to wear. It has a gourmand appeal to it. It opens up. It has with a, like a lemony, citrusy vibe, and it stays there throughout. It also has a bakery panna cotta vibe in there. Guys, this is one, if you have not tried this yet, go to Ulta or Sephora and spray Dolce & Gabbana's Devotion on your skin. Walk around, go shopping and stuff like that, and then come back and you'll find that you will love this fragrance. If you're a niche lover and you have Lyra in your collection, I highly recommend you layer those two together. So Dolce & Gabbana Devotion is a compliment getter, definitely for sure. If you want compliments, you get this in your collection and you wear it and your compliments will come. If you didn't trust me with any other recommendation in today's video, trust me, Dolce & Gabbana's devotion will definitely get you compliments. If you have not subscribed to the channel, you like this type of content, it's providing value to you, please consider subscribing and, you know, joining the family. So my dears, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.